All right, everybody, I got a jack here for you. This is an aluminum racing jack. Uh, the reason they make them out of aluminum is because they're easy to uh, move around. They're lighter weight. This is, and it's a, got a pretty quick reach to it. Notice how fast that goes up with just a few cranks. And of course, it's guaranteed, whoa, it's guaranteed all the way. It's got casters on it, so it's easy to roll around. And it does have the handle. Nothing wrong with this item. Call and give me a bid. It's a $100 retail price. It's an aluminum racing jack from Harbor Freight. Oh, the tons. It's 3,000 pounds. The next item I have for you is a nose or ear hair trimmer. About a $15 retail price, and it runs off batteries. Now, here on the table, I have a stretch recliner cover. This is a... Um, a cover that you put over your favorite armchair or your favorite recliner, uh, motion furniture. When this thing gets dirty, folks, you can just take it off and throw it in the washer. It's got a textured velvet color in a tel textured velvet cover in a gold color, and when it's on the chair, because it has uh, really um, tailored elastic. Uh, corners and features it, it looks really neat on the chair it doesn't it's not like draping a sheet over it all right it looks like it was made that way but yet it's easy to take off and throw in the washer there's nothing worse than those sticky arms on your recliner I just hate that that's why they make anima casters right I bet do you know that word I wouldn't know it except in 1983 I had a store that sold nothing but recliners so I happened to learn the word animacasser. That's the little cloth that goes over the arms on the chairs. You know, whenever you get new furniture, there's always an arm cover. There's a word for that part, and it's called animacasser. And it was such a weird word, it's stuck in my head ever since. Animacassers. Have you ever seen the little corkscrew things that you get to screw the animacassers on so they don't come off? I used to give those away free with every recliner purchase. <laughs> I thought they were way too cool. All right, the next item I have for you is an 18-volt battery. Um, this is from Harbor Freight. Now, this is the three-pronged 18-volt battery. Perhaps if I show it to you, you'll know what it'll fit to. This isn't the most common of Harbor Freight batteries. So there are three contacts on here, and there's a little ridge here. It is fairly standard, though. It's 18-volt. It's from Harbor Freight. They do have two or three different different styles of 18 volt batteries. This is the one with the long neck. It's a long neck battery, 18 volt. Call and give me a bid. Also on the table, oh, this is nice. This is a scrapbook and this has, looks like there was some kind of a decorative thing here that, that's not there anymore, but you can put your uh, cover picture. Now this looks like magnetic pages. Oh no, these are, yeah, these slide in and you got a lot of pages in there of course you can always add more pages there should be some screws here where you can undo it there they are so you can add pages it's a nice expandable photo album these are not cheap retail price thirteen dollars and with that i've got a document frame an 11 by 14 document frame uh oh looks like i needed to put a little uh you know what that needs some brown shoe polish that's it it's just a scratch in the wood that's all that's wrong with this that's nice. You get a document frame and a photo album for one money. Also on the table, I have a utility heater. This heater is 1,500 watts. It's metal construction. Retail price on this is about $30. Call and give me a bid on that item. Okay, I've got some, some out-of-date diet foods. That's right. You know what? We went to... Uh, I, did you watch last night's show by any chance? We went to the Pepsi distributor and bought some the only thing they had in their vending machine was the energy water and it was out of date so we zeroed it we zoomed in on it I just wanted to show people I'm not the only one selling out of date health food <laughs> they sell it right down there at the Pepsi distributor all right <laughs> I hope they don't get mad at me actually I'm promoting them I'm talking about what a great deal that is to have 25 cent sodas I don't care if they're out of date and so this is still good. I've tested all this stuff. It's fine. I have some Slim Fast peanut butter crunch bars, and I have some Slim Fast rich chocolate royal uh, meals on the go. And then I have some Special K protein water. All that for one money. Now, we tried to sell this last night, but I screwed up. I showed it on table. I, it was on the bitter board on table number one, but I didn't show it till table number two. There you see it. It's a Superman, one of these spinning around light things. It was up there for zero. I didn't even get a dollar on it. 
And then I got another one here that's SpongeBob, but he's broken. It's missing the SpongeBob. Man, they retail for 10 bucks a piece. Call and give me a bid. One good one and one broke one. And the last, oh, this is on the table. Oh, my goodness. I've got a two horsepower twin tank air compressor. It says locked up. Is that accurate? So if you plug it in, does it try to turn? Can you tell the piston is seizing or does it just not come on because there's a difference? Well, I don't know. I don't know. It, that, I never put that. That's my handwriting, by the way, and it says locked up. So that would make me think that the piston is seized in the cylinder. I don't know. But it, we plug it in and nothing happens, right? Okay, it's a compressor. It's a $140 retail price. It's two horsepower twin tank compressor. $140 retail price. It doesn't work. I'll plug it in and nothing happens. Call and give me a bid. You can order parts from Harbor Freight. <coughs> all right, everybody. Man, oh man, this one brown box I'm going to show you is all for one price, and it is full of Christmas stuff. I'm going to have to clear a space here. First off, wrapping paper, four rolls. And secondly, I have some felt hope door hangers, hope and hope. And then I have miniature lights, multicolored, a hundred of them. And then a hundred and fifty of them. Oh, this is a trim a tree plus wrapping paper. I've got silver poodle garland. I have gold poodle garland. I have a package of bows. That is 50 deluxe bows. Wonder what the retail is on that. About $10, huh? And another bag of bows. I have some gold garland, garland and bows. I have some green garland. One, two, a lot of stuff in this one. What else? Oh, and I didn't show you silver and purple Christmas balls. All that for one money. I don't know what the retail would be on that. Probably about $75 worth. Do you know? About 75. Call and give me a bid. It's all good Christmas stuff. No junk. Oh, a lighted angel figurine for your tree in a cream color. All that for one money. Maybe $90 worth. Call and give me a bid. And that's the 10 items on table number.